Welcome to this Excel VBA Quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to exit loops early in your macros. And we're going to do it using a do loop and a for loop. It is actually so easy to do. We just put the word exit in front of do or for. So let's skip through these notes and check it out. And I pulled these examples from the full VBA course on teachexcel.com. Don't worry, we're not going to type everything out. I'm just going to show you how the loop works and how we get out of it. So the first one is a do loop. And you can exit any type of do loop using this syntax right here. Exit do. You put it inside the loop and then you get out of that loop. It is as simple as that. So let's take a look at this loop right here. We declare a variable, we give it a value, and this right here is the do while loop. Like I said, it doesn't matter which type of do loop you have. Here we have do while. This variable is less than or equal to three. And what we're gonna do is to output the value from that variable so we can see it increase. Then we're going to increment it by one. And once it reaches three, then we are simply going to exit the loop. So let's hit play and check it out. One, two, done. Now what if I comment out exit do? This time it'll run three times instead of two. One, two, three. So it has allowed us to prematurely exit the loop. And what happens once you exit a loop? It doesn't stop the macro or exit the macro. It just goes to the end of the loop down here and it will continue to run whatever other code you have down here. So let's test that out. Hit play, one, two, and we are now going to hit exit do, exit the loop, and it will run the message box that appears after the loop. And we get hi. So it is as easy as that. Now let's move on to the for loop and the syntax for this, very simple exit four. Now the example I use for this loop is pretty darn cool, I have to say. I'm gonna breeze over it here. In the VBA course, I talk more about it. But all we do is make a counter variable and then another variable to hold the result of whether the user wants to exit the loop or not. Then we use a for loop to go negative, so to take a positive number and make it negative by stepping down minus two each time the loop runs and once the counter variable is below zero, we're going to ask the user if they want to exit the loop or not. Then we take the result of that button click and we exit the loop if they want to exit. And this time we put the counter variable output in the message box down here towards the end of the loop. So let's run this and check it out. Counter variable is now two. Counter variable is now zero. And I'll hit enter once more. We are about to go negative. Would you like to exit the loop? Yes. Perfect. Now let's try it where we hit no. Count variable is now two, zero. It's about to go negative. Do you want to exit? No. Counter variable is now negative two. What I wanted to show you with this second example is that you can make it as complex as you want for the check that controls when you are going to exit the loop. So even though this little statement right here is very, very simple, exit four, what leads up to it can be as complex as you need it to be. And once again, once you hit this, it's just going to take you to the end of the loop and run whatever you have down here. Now that's all there is for exiting loops. You do exit do for any of the do loops and exit four for any of the four loops. And down here, I have a nested loops example, which is pretty interesting, but that's in the VBA course on teachexcel.com. And if you're interested in that, click the link in the description of this video and it'll take you right there.